Hey, it's I'm no what's RC and this video will be about the MMORPG I'm currently making called Raining Chain. So this is probably the biggest update yet. So I've added tons of new features. Um one of them is obviously the graphics. So all the graphics are different. I still don't know if those will be the final graphics, but this is what I'm currently using. Um so I got tons of new features. I won't cover them all. Um I will just explain them the most important one. So first there's the key binding. So you can now change um, what the actions are. There are also default bindings. So that's really convenient. I've also added sounds to the game. So there's um, sounds, there's also sound effects, well songs and sound effects. Um, I won't really show that in this video because I'm doing the commentary, but you can set them to whatever you want and those are saved in cookies. So that's also a new thing. Um, and finally, another big change is the monster. Now with their level, it, it, um, their level will impact the amount of damage, defense, and also behavior. So that's a lot more convenient when creating monsters. Um, I've also added tons of new stuff that I will show during this um, quick um, gameplay. So this is the tutorial of Raining Chain. So you start off at this little island right there. There's a grave. You can set your respawn point. Um, so if you die, you will appear at this position. You will see more clearly what it does um, later. But long story short, you go that way. So like I said, this is the tutorial. There's the little fire thing, and if you die, you respawn there. I plan to add a little fade out animation when you die. It's not um, so fast. So if you try to go to the left, um, it doesn't work. You're not fast enough. So what you need to do is obviously go to the right, follow this little path right there, and then there will be a block. Um, so what you want to do is to push the block. You can also push the block with shift left click. Um, and then you want to activate the switch and as you can see the, um, the fireballs now switch to the other side So this is also a new feature. So the block is a new feature. You can push the block and the collision system change and also Creating attacks without a monster. So it's the map that creates those bullets So this is all was also not possible before so it's a new feature that I've added now There's a plan. I'm going to pick the plan and this is also new stuff. Um, there's a pop-up for each plan that tells you what you need. So for example, right now I need a red wood in order to make a magic staff. So as you can see, if I click, I cannot use abilities. I don't have a weapon. I don't have any abilities. So I'm going to make a staff, red wood. So I need to collect red wood. There's a bee. I cannot kill it. Won't really mess with him. Oh, there's a red tree. If I try to simply move there, I'm going to be shot by an arrow and I will die. So that's not really good. I won't do that. So what I'm going to do is to simply push the block. So it will block the, the bullets. And then I'm going to cut this tree to get a red wood. And then I'm going to use this um, plan in order to make a crappy staff. Which is mainly magic and fire. So it's good if you're using fire abilities and magic abilities. And also a little bit of melee. And then I'm going to equip this staff. So now if I left click, I'm going to shoot bullets. And I will kill this bee. By killing this bee, this block should disappear. I'll also add a fade out animation for that. So it doesn't appear um, disappear immediately. And, and this right there it was super... <laughs> Annoying to make, but it looks pretty neat like moving um, below the map In a way and now there's a new gravestone. So if I add if you die I will now respawn um, at this position instead of the beginning. So that's very handy and now I'm right there I need to kill this monster, but as you can see he is immune to fireball do not deal any damage and if I want to continue right there. I cannot I need to kill the fire demon first and he is pretty much invincible. So what I'm going to do is to flee the monster and go to this little place. I'll kill the bee and the other bee and the other bee. And there's a treasure. So this is also a new stuff I've just added. Um, so treasure you can click and if you try to open it once again, it will not work. Um, so with this, I will learn a new ability. And now I'm going to change this so it's a little bit more um, obvious what to do. But you need to go to abilities and then select your new ability which is mainly cold and magic. Like my old ability was only fire and the demon was immune to fire. So not really good. But this ability is magic and cold so I'm going to be able to do 
um, damage to him. So this is also something I need to add more information because it's not really clear even for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just set it to um, to right click. So if I right click, I'm going to shoot a ice shard. So this is a monster. I kill the monster. He shoots. He has two attacks. The first one is a, a nine bullets in 360, and the other one is a nova of little bullets. I call it nova. Not really sure why, but it's a bullet that shoots other bullets. So I'm just going to try to kill the monster. He's not really hard. I mean, it's the tutorial, and the monster is dead. So if I go here. I will, it will say that I've beaten the tutorial and obviously I will be teleported to another location. I still don't know the ending, how it will work exactly. Um, but yeah, obviously it will change zone. Um, so yeah. So that's pretty much it about how the tutorial goes. Um, once again, this is not the final version. I will probably change a couple stuff depending on the new features I've added because I want to cover most of the features. And, and about the beta, so I know that most of you guys want to try out my game, but I, it's not really um, ready yet for a beta. I, I'm currently starting to put it online. So this is what I'm going to do um, in the following weeks. So making sure that everything works and I'm going to do my tests on rainingchain.com, so the website I own. Currently the website is used for my RuneScape calculators. Um, so during the following weeks, it may happen that the website will be down because I will be doing tests um, with Raining Chain. Um, but I do plan to make a, a section because at the end Raining Chain will be um, is meant for my MMO, but I will still keep a little part of the website for my calculators, so they will still be available in the future. So I guess that's pretty much it about this video. I hope you liked it and see ya!